Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. Boss have asked me to create a bunch of new presets for the Boss Katana Mark II, and they're gonna be available for free to download on the Boss Tone Exchange. If you don't know what the Boss Tone Exchange is, it's a way of you being able to download a variety of different presets for your particular piece of Boss equipment. Anything from, say, the Boss GT1 to the Boss Guitar Synthesizer range to the Boss Katana amplifiers. Now, with this particular patch bank, what I've decided to do is to do my take on a bunch of sort of artist presets. Now this is everything from say Joe Bonamassa to Steve Vai to Stevie Ray Vaughan. There's eight different presets in the patch bank and you can load them from Boss Tone Studio straight into your Boss Katana. The first patch I've called SR Lead. This is my take on a Stevie Ray Vaughan type of patch and it sounds like this. <laughs> The next patch is an auto wire patch and you can think of this a bit like a Jimi Hendrix or my take on a Jimi Hendrix sort of style tone. Now this uses an auto wire, so as opposed to you having to step on a wire pedal, the auto wire does all that work for you and it sounds like this. <laughs> The next patch is a Pink Floyd Dave Gilmore style patch and I'm using a compression reverb and a univibe to get that shine on you crazy diamond type of guitar sound and it sounds like this. <laughs> Now, one of my favorite guitar players who I grew up listening to was Steve Lukather, and I really loved his 80s Bob Bradshaw rack sort of style tone with a big stereo chorus. So what I've done with this patch is to create a big 80s lead tone with a stereo chorus, and it sounds like this. <laughs> The Boss Katana has a fantastic sounding intelligent harmonizer built right into it. So what I've decided to do with this patch is to create a Brian May sort of style lead tone with a fifth and a third interval as a harmony. And because the harmonizer inside the Katana is intelligent and you have to tell it what key it is, it actually works out all the intervals for you. So you don't have to worry about all those sort of clashing intervals over your solos. <laughs> So SV Crunch is inspired by a Steve Vai sort of type tone. If you think of his sort of passion warfare sort of era where he was using like really nice quality effects with his guitar, but getting these really nice sort of crunchy guitar tones with it as well. <laughs> The next patch is a 
80s sort of clean patch. Now this was used, or this sort of sound was used on a variety of different tracks. Everything from that Crowded House song. <laughs> other tracks as well around the same sort of era. So if you've got your Katana plugged in to another Katana and you're using the stereo expand mode, this works absolutely perfectly with that big stereo chorus. Or also if you're using the USB out on the Katana as well, you can take advantage of the stereo effects as well. The last patch are called JB Lead. This is like a modern sort of blues tone. Think Joe Bonamassa, that sort of thing. So trying to emulate that Dumble sort of sound, that smooth overdrive sort of tone. So if you have it in the bridge position. You get that really nice sort of saturation. And if you stick it to the neck position. get that really nice throaty sort of sound as well. So really hope you guys got something out of this. If you want to download these patches, you can do for free. They're going to be available on the Boss Tone Exchange and I'll leave a link in the notes below. If you did get something out of this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and click on the bell button and I'll see you next time. Cheers.